Hey guys, my name is Yeah. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a personality test. So recently there have been some uh, changes to YouTube which involve having to get 10,000 views to actually be able to earn money. Uh, 10,000 views is only about £10, I think. Uh, I wouldn't know because uh, I don't make money. I do this for the benefit of the 10 or 9 people out there because uh, I think someone may have unsubscribed. So um, I know a lot of uh, YouTubers have been uh, censoring their content, uh, beeping out swear words, and uh, this is probably because they want to get more money. Obviously it's hard to earn a living at the moment, so they're just trying to make their content family friendly. They're also doing lots of advertisements as well, just to um, get a little bit more because it's hard to make a living at the moment, but the big ones aren't because they're fine. So uh, I just wanted to say that um, I probably won't be censoring my content. Uh, one, because what's the point, because I don't get any viewers anyway. And two, it's too much work for how many subscribers I've got. So in this video, we're going to be doing a personality test. My star sign is Aries, so apparently I want to be in charge, the boss, the hunter, the investigator, and they're typically confident. Me, confident. Uh, they are fiery, bold, spontaneous, and independent. No. I'm not. I'm particularly masculine and is in touch with my inner child. Yes, okay, macho and horny. Okay. He tends to be very competitive, which um, I, I am. I would consider myself very competitive. He wants to win for himself to prove the world he could do it. So, um, quite a lot of that's right, but I don't sulk when I don't get my own way. You have to ask my parents about that. They may be true, but we're going to find out whether they are true by doing a personality test. So I found this quiz online, which apparently tests your personality. So um, let's get into the video. Do you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people? I would say yes, I do. I'm not actually that confident, really. I just find it a bit awkward, so I would say agree. I do find it quite difficult to introduce myself sometimes. You often get so lost in your thoughts that you ignore and forget your surroundings. I do that quite a bit, actually. I'm just very quiet a lot of the time, so I'm just a deep thinker. Yeah, I would, I would say agree. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. Yes, I, I, I cannot stand a messy inbox at all. It, does my head in. You find it easy to stay relaxed and focus even when there is some pressure. Uh, no, I don't find it that easy to stay relaxed. You do not usually initiate conversations. I do with my friends, but random people, uh, I don't really tend to just start random conversations with them. I'm not really sure what this question's asking, so I'll probably go with disagree because I do sometimes start them. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. Now I do do a lot of stuff just for curiosity. Say in a game for example if I'm not sure oh will this kill me I will probably jump down a black hole. It's so obvious it will kill me but I just want to know if it does just out of sheer curiosity. That's just an example but I can be quite curious on other occasions as well. You feel superior to other people. No I, I don't feel superior to other people. Being organised is more important to you than being adaptable. That's a tough one. I do like to be organised. Um, I can't really stand things to be unorganised, like messy around me, like, much like the emails, so I'm going to say agree. Agree a bit. You are usually highly motivated and energetic. I'm not really that motivated to do work. So I come home, I know I have college work, but just can't be asked. Winning a debate matters less than you thinking, than you making sure no one gets upset. If I can see that it's visually upsetting them, then obviously I don't really care about winning a debate. Um, I do think I'm right a lot of the time, but then that's probably the same for most people, so I'll put disagree. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. I do. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's just me, but I do justify myself to other people. Um, explain to them why I did it because I don't want to seem weird or something like that. Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Uh, yeah, but I, I can't say it was me that personally tidied it. You do not mind being at the centre of attention. Uh, I don't really like being at the centre of attention. For a cent I don't really like being the centre of attention. Uh, I don't like everyone staring at me. You consider yourself more practical than creative. I'm not really that creative. Uh, I used to like art when I was younger, but I'm not really practical either. 
I would prefer a less practical job, a little bit creative. I don't know, I'll put, I'll put neutral. People can rarely upset you. I don't really get upset that much, really. I don't really ever feel like that's sad. I'll put agree. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Yeah, I do like to make sure that I am prepared for travel. I don't want to be stuck somewhere. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. I don't know. I do feel sorry for a lot of people sometimes, and I ask people whether they feel sorry for them, and they're like, no, so... No, I would say that I am sympathetic. Your mood can change very quickly. I think anyone's mood can change very quickly, depending on what happens. You could be having a really fun time laughing with your friends, and then suddenly everyone around you dies. No, I don't, I don't really change my mood very quickly. But disagree. In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. No. I don't, I don't think that's true. You really worry about the fact your actions affect other people. No, I really care if I affect other people. I don't like upsetting people, I find it really awkward and just a bit harsh. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than a methodical and organised approach. 100%. 100% it is. You're often envious of others. No, I'm not really that envious, to be honest. I found out the other day that there's actually a difference between envious and jealousy. Jealousy is the fear of someone stealing what you have. And envy is being annoyed that someone has something that you don't. Uh, I never knew that personally, but I'm obviously not that well educated. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. Um, yes. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of everyday project. Uh, I'd say it's quite important. You rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Why? Well, as I said earlier, I was a deep thinker, so I would disagree. You often find yourself lost in thought when you're walking in nature. Yeah. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm the type of person to feel very self-conscious. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. I wouldn't want a smart child that's an absolute idiot. Watch your profanity. Right, I'm sorry. Minding my language. You do not let other people influence your actions. Uh, disagree. I think influence is a very important part of YouTube. Your drones tend to focus on real world and its events. It's agree. It does not take much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Uh, it does take quite a while. You are more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Yeah, I would say I am a bit. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Disagree. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play. I hate dressing up. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. Uh, yeah. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with detailed plans. Yes, probably. Probably that's me. You are relatively reserved and a quiet person. Agree. If you had a business, you would find it difficult to fire loyal but un- Yes, I would hate to do that. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence. Not really. Logic is usually more important than the heart when it comes to making important decisions. Ooh, that's, that's a tough one. Logic, or what your guts tell you to go with. I don't know, I've been making wrong decisions for my whole life, so... I've got to go with... Probably neutral. Keeping your opinions open is more important than having a to-do list. Yeah. If your friend is sad about something, you are likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Uh, yeah, probably. You rarely feel insecure. Disagree. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking it. Uh, disagree. I do have quite a bit of trouble um, coming up with timetables and stuff, and I just don't stick to them. Being right is more important than being cooperative, cooperative when it comes to teamwork. I disagree. You think that everyone's views should be respected regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not. Uh, agree. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Yeah. You frequently misplace your things. I don't really lose things that much, so I'm gonna put disagree. You see yourself as a very emotionally stable. Yeah, I would say I am. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Yeah. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Disagree, I am definitely a dreamer. You usually find it very difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Yeah. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. Yeah, I would say I would. 
If a room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the centre. Uh, yeah, because I don't like to be the centre of attention. Literally the centre. You have a tendency to pro procrastinate until there is not enough time to do everything. Uh, yes. I leave things to the very last minute. You feel anxious and stressful in situations. Yeah. You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. I think you need to get that balance right. To have a bit of power, you don't want to be the sheep, but you also want to be liked, so I'd say neutral. You've always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things, e.g. in books, art or movies. I do like films, I like art and I like games. You often take initiative in social situations. Yeah, I would say I do. So that is the end of the quiz and the results say that I am an advocate. I am 70% introverted, uh, which is definitely true. I am 66% intuitive. Um, I would say that was true as well, but I do observe things as well. 77% of my nature is feeling. Um, I guess that's because I felt sorry for people a lot. My tactics are 54% judging than prospecting, which is, yeah probably true. My identity is 54% turbulent. Probably, yeah, that probably is me. So basically, I would say that this trait of the Aries man is completely wrong. I'm not aggressive. I'm not impulsive. Um, I'm definitely not bold, but some things are right, like I'm not interested in cheating, but I just think all these star sign traits are pretty useless. They try and base it on a general basis for humans, just to make it feel like you fit in. So you'll fit into some of them and then you'll say, Ooh, that, that really does sum me up. So uh, that is the end of the video. Probably learn a little bit about me. Probably more than my 50 facts about me video. But if you did enjoy the video, please smack a like on it. And uh, leave a comment down below what star sign you are. Also, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Videos every Thursday and Sunday. Uh, check my channels out then. And I'll see you then. Bye. Now the meal, y'all, y'all.